Welcome to Food Dialogue. Dialogue with food. Dialogue about food. Let us begin today's food dialogue with the preparation of a radish relish. Let's take a look at the ingredients. 1 cup of grated radish compacted, 1 third cup of grated coconuts compacted, 1 fourth cup of udad dal, 3 red chilies, 2 green chilies, a small marble size of tamarind, 1 handful of curry leaves, 1 handful of chopped coriander, 1 teaspoon of sesame oil and salt to taste. The salt that I'm using is the Himalayan rock salt. Keep a pan on the stove and light it. Let's add the sesame oil first. Once the oil gets hot, the udad dal, the red chilli and the tamarind. So let's roast this till the dal becomes golden brown. One thing that we have to keep in mind while roasting is that there has to be a constant stirring. The constant stirring will keep rolling the ingredients and give you an even roast. Now the dal is browned well. I'm going to switch off the flame and I'm going to add rest of the ingredients. Now after adding all the ingredients into the pan, add the required amount of salt. You can add the salt as per the taste of your family and your requirements. Now give this a good stir so that the salt also mixes in well. So two things that we have to remember while grinding is that we should not add any water because radish has got a lot of inherent moisture and that moisture is sufficient to help in the grinding process. And second, we will have to use the whipper button of the mixing so that you get a coarse and adhesive powder. So now let us allow this to cool and then we will grind it in a mixing and let's see how the end product looks. So now all the ingredients are cool. So now I'll add it into the mixing and grind it using the whipper option. I'll get back to you with the product after grinding. So the relish is now ground. So you have a coarse mixture as we desired with all the ingredients well blended. So this relish can also be made into a chutney. So now let us see the process of converting this relish into a chutney. So now the relish is ready. Radish relish is best eaten with hot steaming rice to which you add some ghee. The relish can also be used as an accompaniment for pulkas, paratas. It can be used as a spread for toasts, kati rolls. Its use in food menu is endless. Now we can make this relish into a chutney too. Now let's make the tempering for the uh, chutney. So I'm adding one spoon of sesame oil again. About half a teaspoon of mustard. Let's wait for the mustard to splutter. One red chili halved. So a quarter teaspoon of udad dal and a quarter teaspoon of chana dal. Switch off the flame. A few crushed curry leaves and a pinch of asafoetida. So now the tempering for the chutney is ready. Now we pour this tempering into the chutney. So now let us see what are the ingredients required to convert this radish relish 
into a radish chutney. So the predominant ingredient that is needed is the curd, then a little bit of water to adjust the consistency and the tempering which comprises the uh, mustard seeds, uda dal, chana dal, curry leaves, red chilies and a pinch of asafoetida. Now let's see how to make the radish chutney. A few spoonfuls of the relish. I'm going to add about three tablespoons of curd and mix this into a smooth consistency with a little bit of water. Going to add in the tempering. And the radish chutney is now ready.